what is mean by combustion anybody could define what is mean by combustion ajay ajay can you define what is mean by combustion ajay kumar ma'am ajay ma kumar i am correct be attentive ajay kumar every day i am asking question you have to answer ajay unmute and speak Ma'am, I will tell. Okay. Ma'am, I will tell. 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 Ma'
matchstick contain? Children, tell me. Mom, antimony, crystal fire, potassium chloride, potassium chloride, potassium chloride, potassium chloride. Ma'am, and that is made of pine wood. Chloride, right. And pine wood. Ma'am, the ma'am downside is made of pine wood. And a little red phosphorus, which is much less dangerous. See, whereas with matchbox, sides are made of powder glass. Powder glass. Red phosphorus. Red phosphorus. Phosphorus, I'm writing P. Dangerous. Then white phosphorus. So white phosphorus. Some red phosphorus, red phosphorus gets converted into white phosphorus when the match is struck against the rubbing surface. The white phosphorus immediately reacts with potassium chlorate in the matchstick head to produce heat required to ignite antimony trisulfide and start the combustion. Thus. We have learnt about the history. See, when you rub red phosphorus, it is converted to white phosphorus and it makes the antimony trisulfide and potassium chloride to light up and produce Drink heat. Of a match stick. Okay, children. Any doubt? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay, now one, there is a question for you, children. This uh, concept already we learned based on the time asking your question. See, here we have a beaker. Oh, not a beaker. Let us take a paper cup. This is a paper cup. We are letting it. Right? And we also have another paper cup kept it on a stand let's day. We have another paper cup. Kept it on a stand. And in which we are having water. Children, will this paper cup burn when you lit? Yes, ma'am. When you light yes, ma'am. Right? Yes, ma'am. But will it burn? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma Burn because, because water. water. Water is Not burn. Children, no water. Please do it at your home and see children. When you do this, you can observe water and it starts boiling. Yes ma'am, water will boil but it will not burn. So it is a paper cup. So it is a paper cup. Water will boil but paper cup will not burn. Why? And because water will be there, ma'am. Ma because inside water is there, ma'am. So what? If water is there, how it prevents burning? Think of children. Ma'am, when burning... Ma if water is there, it will not leave to burn. How? Ma'am, when burning, the cup will be whole, no ma'am. Water will come down to the place. Yes, okay, almost you are nearing the answer. See, whatever heat you are supplying to this paper cup, it will directly reach the paper cup. Mommy, transfer it to water. Very good. Who gave the answer? I'm pretty that. Very good. In this cup, whatever heat we are giving, the heat, when it goes to the paper, it transfers its heat to the water. 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 Right? So paper, conduction. Heat. paper is transferring the heat to the water. So what happens? Ignition temperature, it is not getting. Paper is not getting ignition temperature to burn. What is meant by ignition temperature? Um, low temperature. Yeah, what is meant by ignition temperature? The lowest temperature. A material needs to burn. A paper burn up because that's why it's burning. That's why temperature is just the right? Now, 
ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ನೀರ್ ಇಟ್ಟಿರ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಪೇಪರ್ ಬರ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಪೇಪರ್ ಕೊಡೋ ಬೆಂಕಿ ಆ ಹೀಟ್ ನೀರ್ಗೆ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಪೇಪರ್ಗೆ ಹೀಟ್ ಸಿಗಲ್ಲ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗ್ತಿದ್ಯಾ ದ ಹೀಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಪೇಪರ್ ಕಪ್ ಟು ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಸೊ ಪೇಪರ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಸಿಗ್ನಿಷಿಯನ್ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಸಿಗ್ನಿಷಿಯನ್ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಸೊ ಪೇಪರ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬರ್ನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಇಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಬಾಯ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಈವನ್ ದೆನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಓನ್ ಬರ್ನ್ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ವಿನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಸಮ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಾನ್ಸಿಯಲ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಬಾಟಮ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಾನ್ಸ್ ma'am ash ma'am ash of paper cup ma'am ash of paper okay when paper burns you get ash that is carbon even when paper does not burn when you are heating the paper at the bottom you will get a black substance what is it children children you must have observed in temple when we go we lit a camphor right and then upon that we keep a coconut broken coconut a white coconut mele black agutte adu etto hani gitkotivi yes ma'am ore ore why why yes, the black one yes, comes children what is that because of black. because of dust carbon particles just yes, carbon because of fire it will become black see that is understanding yes ma'am okay yes, ma'am now let us move to the next topic that is types of combustion children okay types of combustion we learn combustion is a substance produces heat in the presence of oxygen Does all the substance burn at equal speed? No, ma'am. No, we just no, ma'am. Morning, as soon as we get up, Amma prepares uh, tea or coffee, right? She prepares, yes, she lights the gas with the light. Gas stove. Right. As soon as she uh, taps the lighter, the gas stove catches the burner. The gas burner catches flame. Fire. Yes, not children. So, is yes, it ma'am. fast or slow? and fast fast so and fast we and fast combustion as rapid fast means rapid rapid combustion rapid combustion is when you are giving when you little bit increasing the heat that is ignition temperature you are giving by lighting the lighter right gas burns rapidly fast and produces heat and light such as, such things are called rapid combustion okay children here i gave you one example one story also i told you no for white phosphorus yes ma'am so what yes, ma'am white phosphorus catches fire automatically no need even to light or to light no need of any match stick it does it happens automatically right so what do we call this as when it happens automatically light and heat are produced automatically ಸ್ಟಿಮುಲಸ್ fire when it is exposed to air at room temperature example white phosphorus okay catches fire in air itself no need to ignite it no need to induce fire whereas in rapid combustion we have to supply little bit of fire okay children then let us go to the other type diwali time what do we do diwali time children and cracker ma'am like burn crackers and burn crackers right. when you burst crackers does the heat and light come slowly 
or suddenly ma'am suddenly after that or more and more and more and more okay more. do you get anything along with the heat and light yes ma'am what do you get sound sound ma'am sound and warm explosion explosion is sudden release of heat sudden release of write it down all of you sudden release of heat light and sound example crackers write it down all of you so children we have crackers bombs all these things we have learned there are three types of combustion what are they rapid combustion rapid combustion spontaneous combustion spontaneous combustion explosion can you give me one more example from your daily life for rapid combustion Mom, gas cylinder. Mom, gas stove. Lighting deep. That already we discussed. Deep. Gas burning. Any other example? Mom, lighting Mom. deep. Lighting deep. Mom, lighting deep. Deep. Okay, very good. Then, any other examples? Mom, lighter. Yes. Mom, lighter. Mom, lighter. Lighter in gas. Okay, done. What about paper lighting? Paper burning. What type of combustion it is? Rapid combustion. Rapid. Rapid, rapid combustion. combustion. Spontaneous combustion, children. Spontaneous combustion. Can you give an example? Yes. Forest fire. Forest, forest fire. fire. Very good. Who gave forest. this example? Deepak. Deepak. Very good. Claps to you. How does forest fire happen spontaneously? Um, because of sun and air. Ma'am, yeah. automatically. Ma'am, yes. dry grasses catches fire. Yes. Yes, children. Ma'am, by the two trees. Excess heat is there. And sometimes when the plants rub with each other. Ma'am, sun's heat catches yes, fire. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, right? trees will rubbing each other. Yes. Yes. But is forest fire grow. also induced? Ma'am, in our school also. Ma, forest fire is spontaneous combustion. Agree. Is there anybody even uh, creating forest fire? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma how? How and why? Ma'am, by putting oil and fire. Yes. Ma'am, Ma they will put the cigarette uh, in matchstick and they will throw matchstick and go, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma that should not happen, right? And even sometimes we might be seeing farmers just they will to get do the, simply. Yeah, to get the grass for yeah. their cows, buffaloes to their sheep. Sheep. What do they do during summer season? They light. They uh, just to destroy the grass. They. They light the fire. Yeah, fire. But sometimes, unfortunately, what happens? Even the trees get burned, and fire extinguisher has to come. And the, yeah, man, the whole forest yes, will burn. Right, children? Can they do like that? No, no man. No, no, no. We should not create forest fire. Creating forest fire is actually an offence. Iga, one day newspaper alone got it thrown out. Forest fire, if it is by human, it is offence. It's punishable. Okay, children. Just wait for two minutes. I'll go to the yeah. other class and teach you. By the time you just recall all this and give one more example for explosion also. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, bombs and grenades. Screenshot of ma'am gun. Ma'am grenade. Ma'am mini gun. Ma'am grenade launcher. Have you finished writing? Ma'am hand cannon. Yes, ma'am.
Your children just wait. Ma'am, blessing a balloon. Ma'am. Ma'am, blasting the balloon. Yes. Ma'am, blasting balloon. Is it explosion? Yes, ma'am. It will produce sound. Ma'am, bombs, grenade. Ma'am, crackers. Grenade launcher. Bombs in the grenade is an example for explosion. Ma'am, and RPG. Okay. Now. Let us see how to control fire. Okay. Yes. Ma'am, by water. Ma'am, decreasing fuel. No, and cuts off the supply of oxygen. A fire breakout in buildings such as residential houses and offices can cause destruction of life and property. To reduce the destruction, the needs to be controlled. The combustion of a substance requires fuel, oxygen and heat. So removal of any of these helps in controlling fire. The use of water to douse the flames is the most basic and prominent method of fire control. Water lowers the ignition temperature of the burning material or fuel and thus stops fire from spreading. Cutting off oxygen supply to the burning material is another effective way of controlling fire. One of the methods to cut off oxygen supply is to cover the burning material with a blanket. Fire extinguishers can also be used to control fire. A fire extinguisher contains sodium bicarbonate solution and concentrated sulfuric acid that react to produce carbon dioxide gas. The carbon dioxide gas so formed forms a blanket around the fire, cutting off the oxygen supply. And back into the real world where we have just installed a fire alarm. Professor, I've heard a phrase often, fight fire with fire. Can you really fight fire? That is used for extinguishing fire. There are different types of fire extinguishers. The simplest is the soda acid fire extinguisher. The soda acid type fire extinguisher is made up of three parts, container, bottle and knob. The container has sodium bicarbonate solution and the bottle sulfuric acid. When the knob is struck, the bottle breaks and the sulfuric acid reacts with the sodium bicarbonate to liberate carbon dioxide gas. See here you can see sodium bicarbonate with sulfuric acid forms sodium sulfate, water and carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide covers the fire like a blanket, cuts the supply of oxygen and then puts off the fire. The carbon dioxide released forms a blanket around the fire and cuts off the oxygen supply. And well 
real world, Vinny will now demonstrate the use of a fire extinguisher filled with carbon dioxide. So, ready, Vinny? Because we... Ouch! Sorry, sir. Ah, Vinny, my bright, clumsy Vinny, it's not your fault. You see, these extinguishers release highly pressurized carbon dioxide. But, Professor, I, I was so careful. Now I wonder why we use these. Why, Binny? It's elementary. Carbon dioxide fire extinguishers are used to put out fire caused by inflammable or combustible liquids like gasoline, oil, etc. And those caused by electrical equipment where you can't use water. I'm enjoying this knowledge, Professor. Tell me more about how does carbon dioxide extinguishes fire? Now, carbon dioxide is heavier than oxygen. So, carbon dioxide extinguishers fight fire by... ...carbon dioxide extinguishers fight fire by covering the fire like a blanket. This cuts off the supply of oxygen and hence fire is extinguished. Wow! But how can we know that carbon dioxide is heavier than air? Fine! Let's go into the virtual world and let's see an activity to learn this. Let's explore about the properties of carbon dioxide by performing a simple activity. For the first activity, you will require one empty gas jar or in other words, a gas jar containing air, one gas jar full of carbon dioxide gas, and one candle. To begin the activity, invert the gas jar full of carbon dioxide gas over the empty jar and wait for some time. Now light the candle and introduce it in the upper gas jar. You will observe that the candle continues to burn. Then introduce the candle in the lower gas jar. You will be surprised to notice that the candle extinguishes in no time. See, candle puts off. Why? Ma'am, because there is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide the fire like a blanket and puts off the fire. So this is the confirmatory test. If the candle put off without any sound, then it is carbon dioxide. If it put off with sound, a tap, then it is hydrogen. But here without sound, it is putting off, so it's carbon dioxide. What inferences can you draw from it? Well, you all know that air supports combustion. The extinguishing of candle in the lower jar confirms that the lower jar yeah. does not contain any air now, whereas the burning of candle in the upper jar indicates the presence of air in it. Let us now conclude our observation. During this activity, the carbon dioxide gas, which was originally present in the upper jar, moves to the lower jar. At the same time, the air originally present in the lower jar moves to the upper jar since carbon dioxide gas is moving down by displacing the air present in the lower jar. It can be inferred that carbon dioxide gas is heavier than air. Welcome back into the real world. Now, my mother used to say, there is no smoke without fire. So if you smell smoke like I smell right now, well, you better look for the source of Ah! Professor! Whew, that was close. And Benny, you did an excellent job cutting out the oxygen with the clock. Smart girl. Now, do you know how to let fire not get out of control? Yes, Professor, by being attentive and not absent-minded near fire. Uh, that's right too. Oh, Professor, I was wondering how our ancestors used to control fire. They never read science and I'm sure they never used fire extinguishers. Ah, Benny, fire has fired up your intelligence. So let me tell you this. Do you know that the ability of our ancestors to use fire is as old as 400,000 years ago? That's right. And the earliest cooked dinner 
would go back to almost two million years ago. That would be some dinner, Professor. Imagine eating uncooked raw food every day. Ugh. Not now, Benny. It wasn't just eating tasty meals. The ability to control and use fire changed the face of humanity in a dramatic way. If early man could use fire in a crude way to heat and cook, he could also use fire to keep himself warm move to colder regions for survival and make sure meal in the kitchen and thank the intelligence of the early man for that that's interesting and now it's time to fight our way back to the beginning of the firefight children did you understand how a fire was produced in the early days yes ma'am yes, yes, they were using to warm up their bodies climate two stones to cook if there is no fire can we cook any food no ma'am no, 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 we cannot no, vegetables raw rice is it good can we digest no ma'am no, ma the use of importance of fire at the same time how to control fire also we have to be alert thing here's a recap combustion of a substance requires as fuel oxygen and heat Removal of even one out of fuel, oxygen and heat helps in controlling fire. A fire extinguisher is used to control fire. A fire extinguisher is a portable container of chemicals that is used for extinguishing fire. There are different types of fire extinguishers. The simplest fire extinguisher is a soda acid fire extinguisher. Soda is sodium bicarbonate. Soda acid fire extinguisher contains sodium bicarbonate solution and concentrated sulfuric acid that reacts to produce carbon dioxide. And that that's all we have about fighting fire today. Better not be absent minded with fire around. Never play with it ever. There are different types of fire extinguishers. A fire extinguisher. Okay. Is a portable container of chemicals that is used for extinguishing fire. There are different types of fire extinguishers. The simplest fire extinguisher is a soda acid fire extinguisher. Soda acid fire extinguisher contains sodium bicarbonate solution and concentrated sulfuric acid that reacts to produce carbon dioxide. And that's all. We have about fighting fire today. Better not be absent minded with fire around and never deliberately play with it ever. Remember, prevention is better. Yes, Professor. And that's all. Now I'll give you three questions, children. Just find out answers for that questions and come in chat box and typing the question, right? How can we control fire caused by in chat box? I'm giving the question. Take up. Huh? Find the answers and come tomorrow. We'll discuss. How can we control fire caused by appliances like short circuit question number one second question how do you control fire caused in petrol pump or fire caused by oil spillage right can you use water? Right. These answers you will find out, children. If you read the textbook yeah. only, you will get it easily. Okay, there are two questions I gave. One more question I will give you. Right? 
find one it find well, each of each for the types of combustion other than that given in your textbook I have given. Take these three questions, find out answers for all these three questions, and come to the next class. Okay. Yes. Yes. Thank you, children. I am downloading your attendance. You can leave. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, 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 ma'am.